Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Agi Setia Abdana I'm from English Education Department Class 6A And First, I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Nwardi M.E.D. as a supervising lecturer in the course Data Analysis and Measurement And in this occasion, I'd like to explain about topic Data Collection Process The first is about concept of data collection. Data collection is the process of gathering and measuring information on variables of interest in an stabilized systematic fashion that enables one to answer state research questions, test hypothesis, and evaluate outcomes. And then next is types of data. The first type of data is qualitative data. Qualitative data are mostly non, uh, numerical and usually descriptive or nominal in nature. This means the data collected are in the form of words and sentences. And then, these methods are characterized by the following attributes. The first, they tend to be open-ended and have less structure protocols. The second, they rely more heavily on interactive interviews. And then the third, they use triangulation to increase the credibility of their findings. And the fourth, generally, their findings are not generalizable to any specific population. Rather, each can study produce a single pitch of evidence that can be used to seek general patterns among different studies of the same issue. And then The qualitative methods most commonly used in evaluation can be classified in three broad categories. The first, in-depth interview, the second, observation method, and the third is document review. And then, the second type of data is quantitative data. Quantitative data is uh, numerical in nature and can be mathematically computed And quantitative data user uses different scales, which can be classified as nominal scale, ordinal scale, interval scale, and ratio scale. Next, typical quantitative data gathering strategies. Uh, first, experiments or clinical trials. The second, observing and recording well-defined events. The third, obtaining relevant data from management information system. The fourth, administrating surveys with closed-ended questions. The five in quantitative research, interviews are more structured than in qualitative research. In a structured interview, the researcher asks a standard set of questions and nothing more. And the last is paper-pencil questionnaires can be sent to a large number of people and save the researcher time and money. And then, next, Uh, data based on the search. The first data based on the search is primary data. Data that has been collected from first-hand experience is known as primary data. Example of primary data search for experiments, survey, questionnaire, interview, and observation. And then the next is secondary data. Data collected from a source that has already been published in any form is called as secondary data. Example, books, records, geographies, newspapers, published census or other statistical data, data archives, internet articles, research articles by other researchers, or and then database. Next. Issue to be considered for data collection or norms in research. The first is honesty, objectivity, integrity, openness, confidentiality, responsible publication, responsible mentoring, respect for colleague, and social responsibility, non-discrimination, competence, legality, and human subject protection.
uh, all right that's all i can explain about that uh, collection process i'm sorry for my mistake uh, in this presentation thank you for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh